Good morning, students. We are discussing on pavement design and highway construction. We are learning the pavement material and its characterization, wherein we are talking for the bituminous taste that we perform on the material. In this lecture, we will discuss on the ductility taste, flash and fire taste, specific gravity taste, solubility taste, and the water content taste. So, starting with the first one, that is the ductility taste. The ductility taste is to be performed to measure the adhesive properties of bitumen and its ability to stretch. So, the property of ductility of a binder is an indication of its ability to deform under load without cracking. The cracked surface of a pavement is unsatisfactory for a number of reasons. The chief of the reason which is that it allows the water to penetrate into the cores of the pavement and that will definitely affect the stability of the structure. The ability of the bitumen to spread and coat the surface of the aggregates completely to provide the binding and interlocking is considered to be dependent on the ductility property. Also, the ability to withstand the repeated loading cycle under the traffic and the keeping the deformations within the allowable limits is partially dependent on the ductility of particular material. So, generally the ductility is expressed as the distance in the centimeter to which a standard sample of bitumen can be stretched that is before the thread breaks here in the figure you see there is a thin thread uh, occurring when uh, you are performing the ductility taste and when it get breaks that will give you the value of ductility okay now the taste is conducted at the 27 degree temperature and at a rate of cool of 50 millimeter per minute so your material would be stretched only and only 50 meter 50 millimeter per minute the taste setup is shown already in figure okay here the ductility machine functions as a constant temperature water bath with a cooling device at a pre-calibrated rate Two clips are thus pulled after horizontally at a uniform speed of 50 mm per minute. The bitumen sample then heated and poured in the mold assembly that is placed on the flat. The sample along with the molds are cooled in the air and then in a water bath it should maintain 27 degree Celsius. The excess bituminous material is cut and then the surface should be leveled using the hot knife. The mold assembly containing that sample is then replaced in the water bath of the ductility tasting machine for around 85 to 95 minutes. Now the sides of the mold are removed and the clips hooked on the machine. And the pointer is adjusted to the zero digit. The distance up to the point of breaking of thread is reported in centimeters as the ductility value. The ductility value gets seriously affected by factors such as pouring temperature, dimensions of brickweed, level of brickweed, that is the bitumen sample, and that level of brickweed should be in the water bath. Presence of air pockets, taste temperature, the rate of cooling, those all factors affect the value of ductility. Okay, the ductility values of bitumen varies from 5 to over 100 value. Okay, for different different grades of bitumen. A minimum ductility value is generally accepted as a 75 centimeter by the ISI 
for the between of grade 45. Well, if we talk about a sources that is from India, that is Assam Petroleum, okay, have much lower ductility value. The minimum ductility value for Assam Petroleum between that is specified is only and only 15 centimeter for the bituminous grade A65 to 200. This is just for the use in the certain regions. So now let's talk on the next taste that is the flash and fire taste. This taste is performed uh, as an indication of the critical temperature during the heating of the bitumen. Now if we talk in detail, the bituminous material leave out the volatiles at the temperatures depending upon their grades. The volatiles catch the fire causing a flash and this condition is very hazardous and it is therefore essential to quality this temperature for each bituminous grade so that paving engineers those are the transportation engineers may restrict the mixing and application of the temperatures as we have earlier mentioned that this taste gives the indication of the critical temperature at and above which the suitable precautions should be taken to eliminate the fire hazards during this particular taste okay the if we talk about the flash and fire point of bitumen the flash point is the point of lowest temperature at which the vapor of substance momentarily takes fire in the form of flash under the specified taste condition well the fire taste is the lowest temperature at which the material gets ignited and burns under the specified taste condition well if we talk about the procedure of flash and fire taste the pansky martins is the apparatus that we generally used for flash and fire taste it is available as a closed cup as well as the open cup now the material that to be tasted is filled in this cup up to the filling mark now then the lead is placed to close the cup in a closed system now all accessories is already sh uh, shown in the figure okay now the bituminous sample is then heated at the rate of 5 to 6 degree per minute then the taste flame is applied at certain intervals that is depending upon the expected flash and fire points okay now the first application is made at least 17 degree celsius below the actual flash point and then at every 1 to 3 degree variation in the temperature we have to apply or we have to check the flash point for such particular material now the flash point is taken as a temperature read on the thermometer at the time of the flame application that cause the bright flash in the interior of the clock of the cup in a closed system the minimum specified point of bitumen used in the pavement construction is 175 degree celsius now let's talk on the next that is the specific gravity taste the density of a bituminous binder is a fundamental property frequently used as an aid to classify the binders for use in the paving jobs in the most applications the bitumen is weighted but finally when it gets in used with the aggregate system the bituminous content is converted on the volume basis that using the density values the specific gravity of the bituminous material is defined as the ratio of the mass of a given volume of the substance to the same of an equal volume of water at the temperature of being 27 degree in the both condition 
the specific gravity value of a bitumen is also useful in the bituminous mix design. The density of bitumen is greatly influenced by its chemical composition. Now increased amount of aromatic type compounds or the mineral impurities that cause an increase in the specific gravity. The specific gravity is determined either by using a cyanometer or by preparing a cube shaped specimen in the semi solid or the solid state than by weighing in air and water. Generally, the specific gravity of pure bitumen is in the range of 0.97 to 1.02. The specific gravity of the cutback bitumen may be lower depending on the type and the proportion of diluent we used. Okay, the tars have the specific gravity that is ranging from 1.10 to 1.25. Now, if we talk about the solubility taste. A pure bitumen is completely soluble in the solvent like carbon disulfide and carbon tetrachloride. Hence, any impurity in the bitumen in the form of inert materials that carbon or salt etc. that could be quantitatively analyzed by dissolving the sample of bitumen in any of these two solvent that is the carbon disulfide and the carbon tetrachloride. Now, a sample of a sample of about 2 gram of bitumen is dissolved in about 100 ml of solvent and then the solution is filtered in the and the insoluble material that retained that should be washed dried and then weighed now this value is expressed as a percentage of original sample the insoluble material should be preferably less than 1%. In the solubility taste with the carbon tetrachloride, if black carbonaceous residue is over 0.5%, the bitumen is considered to be cracked and the minimum proportion of bitumen soluble in the carbon disulfide is specified as a 99%. Now talking about the water content taste, it is desirable that the bitumen contains minimum water to prevent the forming of the bitumen when it is heated above the boiling point of the water. The water content in a bitumen is determined by mixing the known weight of the specimen in a pure petroleum distillate that is free from water, heating and the distilling of the water. The weight of the water condensed and the collected is expressed as the percentage by weight of the original sample. The maximum water contained in the bitumen should not exceed. 0.2 percentage by the weight okay so with that i am concluding today's lecture where in this lecture we have already seen the ductility taste flash and fire taste specific gravity taste solubility taste and finally water content taste i hope student you understand this taste thoroughly and thank you so much for your kind attention throughout the lecture.